Should judges make all? <laughs> the, one of the benefits is flexibility. Judges are able to make laws. This provides flexibility, such as in the case of BRB and Harrington and IBR. The judge's power of distinguishing and overruling promotes flexibility. This goes against parliamentary supremacy. However, it is, it is a beneficial. It is beneficial because judges can interpret the law to try and find. Oops, try to find and avoid absurd results that would have occurred if they had applied the law exactly as Parliament, Parliament had applied it, had written it, sorry. <laughs> and um, judges can make the law theoretically. Okay, practicality. Judges can make laws that provide practical solutions to real life situations. For example, by using the mischief rule to see what Parliament was trying to remedy. Judges removed exemptions of a man's right to rape in RBR. That's marital rape, not just rape. <laughs> <laughs> um, another benefit is advanced with some terminology. Judges um, can make laws that address problems um, that are created by advances in technology. For example, in the Royal College of Nursing, VDHSS, um, the advancement in technology made uh, nurses be able to carry out abortions, where before it was just doctors and legal practitioners. That, um, um, so judges interpreted the law to find nurses able to carry out abortions, so no more backstreet abortions are happening. Okay. Another benefit is that judges are able to devote time to consider a case. Parliament don't consider cases specifically, they focus more on society as a whole. And the benefit of judge made laws that judges look at cases specifically and previous precedents to help them make their decision. Uh, one of the problems is that um, judges are not elected. It goes against sort of the idea of parliamentary supremacy and that society has a role in choosing parliament and therefore have a sort of influence on the laws that are passed. Uh, Due to judges not being elected, they are not representative of society and what the rest of society actually desires. Uh, one of the problems is the representation, the representativeness. Yeah, word. <laughs> um, judges not, are not a correct uh, representation of society because they are middle-aged, middle-class, middle-minded. Uh, they are usually white males with conservative outlook on life. They um, they don't they don't um, they don't give a, a true representation of the British public. <laughs> Retrospective laws. Judge made law can mean that some people are accountable for crimes, though they were not criminal at the time of the offence. In RVI, it was not illegal for a man to rape his wife. At the time of the offence, however, at a later date, this became a criminal offence and D was prosecuted, uh, therefore retrospective. If Parliament are left to make laws, there will be a date of... Commencement. Thank you very much. My IQ level just dropped. <laughs> so people could organise themselves in order to be ready for, le for the legislation. Uh, another problem is um, situational factors. Um, judges can only make laws when the certain situation arises, and the whole point of law is that it stops like crime and stuff. So this is a problem because laws are supposed to be prevent preventative. Um, therefore, if um, judges make law, then laws are no longer proactive. Another problem is the separation of powers. There are three branches of legislative power, judiciary, government, and parliament. And the separation of powers theory states that branches should remain separate, therefore judges should be able to make law as a problem, because they should only apply the law rather than like, make law. Okay. Um, one of the other main theories is parliamentary supremacy, which states that parliament should be the supreme lawmaker, but then if judges are allowed to make the law a precedent, then it goes against that theory. And that judges should only apply the law exactly as Parliament has written it. Good. Thank you very much.